Hi, this is Smita Dev and welcome to Get Curried. For those of you who don't know what a theta is, it's a delicious spicy traditional chutney of Maharashtra, also known as kharda and made in many different ways all across Maharashtra. And using this theta, today I'm going to show you how to make a delicious kharda or theta chicken. So to make this delicious spicy kharda chicken, I'm going to heat three tablespoons of oil. Let's wait for the oil to get hot. The oil is hot. Let's saute one large onion, which I finely chopped. I'm going to just fry this onion till it's translucent and pink. Don't brown these onions because it's going to change the entire color of this dish. So we just have to take care that we are sauteing it till it's nice, soft and translucent. So the onions have turned to a beautiful pink. Let's add a teaspoon of ginger paste, a teaspoon of garlic paste and just let's fry this till the raw smell of the ginger garlic is gone. Let's add a teaspoon of turmeric powder to this. Quickly just let's mix this and add chicken to this. I've got about 750 grams of chicken. Just let's sear the chicken on a high flame for three to four minutes. Let's add a cup of water to this. Some salt. Just give this a good mix and simply cover this and cook till the chicken is almost done. I'm going to reduce the flame to a medium and now while the chicken is getting cooked, let's make the delicious spicy tetsa. So to prepare this kharda, let's heat 4 tablespoons of oil. Do not get shocked with the quantity of the ingredients that I'm using to make this beautiful spicy tetsa. Uh, trust me, the outcome is going to be simply delicious. So the oil is hot. I have chopped 15 cloves of garlic here, which I'm going to saute till they are slightly golden. The garlic is slightly golden. I have 15 spicy green chilies here which I have chopped. I'm going to add this as well. Don't get scared. And we're going to fry these chilies crisp along with these beautiful golden pieces of garlic. The chilies are crisp. They've also changed their color. Here I have one cup of grated dry coconut. If you do not have dry coconut available easily, you can also use desiccated coconut. We're going to add this to the green chilies and garlic and saute this till it's golden brown. I think the chicken should be cooked by now. Just let's check it out. Yeah, the meat is off the bone. Let's shut the flame and keep it aside for a while. The coconut has also got a beautiful golden color. Let's shut the flame and wait for this mixture to cool down. This mixture has cooled down and now we're going to add one medium bowl of freshly chopped coriander leaves to this and grind this to a coarse paste. So why is this chutney called a thetsa? It's because we traditionally pound all these ingredients on a silbatta or on a pata varvanta which we normally call in Marathi we normally pound all these ingredients and in Marathi you call it thetsna that is why this chutney is called thetsa but since most of us do not have a silbatta we grind this to a coarse paste in a mixer grinder I'm going to add the coriander as well
This is generally the consistency of the theta. Now the kharda is ready and our chicken is also cooked. Now let's mix this together. For that, let's heat 2 to 3 tablespoons of oil. Now in this hot oil, we're going to saute one large onion till it's soft and translucent. The onions are done to the consistency that we want. Just let's add the thetsa. Fry this as well for a minute. Let's add the pieces of chicken to the thetsa. I'm going to add all this nutritional stock as well to this. Mix this well. Sprinkle a teaspoon of garam masala. Gently mix this. And just let's cook this chicken for 5 minutes on a medium to a high flame. It's been 5 minutes, we had kept the chicken to cook and it's ready to be served. And I'm going to remove this chicken in a serving bowl. And my dear vegetarian friends, I do not want you to be disheartened. This recipe can be made using sprouts. I make it with moong. I make it with potatoes and for those of you who love paneer, you can add paneer also to this. Our chicken khada is ready to be served. Normally, I would serve it with a bhakri but you can serve it with chapati or paratha or any bread of your choice. Do try this recipe and let me know and keep watching Get Current.